Hey guys, welcome to my Let's Play Genshin Impact series Back to Square 1. Be it story, exploration, combat or quest, this series serves to assimilate new players into the game using a veteran's point of view to offer guidance that can not only help you quickly advance in Genshin but introduce some tips and tricks that will help you throughout the game without spoiling the fun of exploring Teviat and its lore. Enjoy! Like, comment, subscribe. Alright! Welcome everyone back to another episode of our Let's Play series Back to Square One. So this is episode 7 since the last episode which was uh, last Sunday which didn't go, it, it went live but we didn't record it because, which was my mistake obviously. So I apologize for those people who are finding it on YouTube and can't find it. But you know, uh, moving on we can you know work around it by giving you guys a kind of update. I know it won't be the same feeling especially, oh, especially the LB though man. We missed the LB though. Okay, so in this episode, we are going to cover a bunch of things. So we are going to cover LB though. Uh, we are going to cover um, a recap of what happened uh, when we went live but we didn't record. Then after that, we are going to do some uh, hun hunting of the secret island in Monstead, which is actually right behind us over there. We are going to do some fishing, some weeklies, uh, including crystal ore mining, bounties and requests. And then uh, we're going to end off with some Liyue domains and opening all the shrine of that. And somewhere uh, in the middle of this, of this uh, episode, right, we're actually going to do 10 summons. Which I I know is because it's a double episode, right, so I've saved up a bunch of summons for, for two episodes worth of summons, right? Okay. So with that out of the way, I think we can start this episode proper. So we are actually going to start with um, a recap of what happened. So let's go ahead and bring up our pool list. Okay, our pool history rather. Yep, this is what happened last episode basically. <laughs> it's always scuff that you guys have to see in this way, but yeah, it was really hard. Unfortunately, I don't have the footage for it, but we pulled for LB though. You can see last week, you know, it wasn't. <sighs> of all the episodes I missed, man, I missed the episode where I pulled my first 5 star. Ah. Uh, well, such is life. But anyway, so that's Albedo for us. We put Albedo mainly because uh, he's a bit more free to play friendly, a little bit more beginner friendly as well. Because he's uh, oh as I mentioned just now, I think uh, he's um, his kit is pretty free to play. So he, because of the event that's ongoing right now, right as of me recording this video, it's it's about to end in like a week or so. But there's a Albedo event going on now. And they are giving out like this free weapon. So it's a really nice weapon designed specifically for Albedo. And you get a nice refinement 5 on it. So you get a ton of defense, basically. And that really, uh, it, it just contributes to so much of his attack. Look at how like under leveled he is, right? Like he's, you know, you, you, don't be, you won't believe it, right? But with this kind of like half, half built Albedo, right? he's actually the main damage dealer in my team right now. Just because of the way he works and his uh, his best weapon honestly yeah so the the way he works is a bit different from like other other like more popular like so called five star units right it's because he's kind of off field like he puts his he puts his e down on the floor he scales off of defense and you know you 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 dump it on the floor and it just goes it just goes ham every time you damage someone it, it deals damage based on his defense that so his skill scales off of his defense, right? Yeah, so he's pretty underrated, but I pulled for him because I knew that, you know, pulling for Yula, although it will definitely be the more fun character, I'll be like, you have to like stack her burst and everything. There's more technique involved and everything. But um, Yula requires a bit of investment, whereas LBO kind of already has all his stuff out there. So that's why I that's why I went for Albedo instead of Yula. Yeah, okay. We'll do a bunch of... Domains later also, which will be quite exciting. Cause I think in like episode five, if I'm not wrong, we did all the all those domains, right? The one the the the, the live premiere session, I think. Was it a live premiere? The live premiere session, right? I think it, we did some domains but we, we were stunned because we couldn't get our party level to level seventy, so level sixty or seventy, I can't remember. But that really affected us, so yeah. Okay. But now we are on this island, right? So this island is just it's just like this. 
it, it seems seems like there's not much to it and there's even uh animoculi over there so if you guys are wondering where the last animoculi is right <laughs> it's over here it's over here on this uh, secret island that's not on the map okay uh to, to start the quest we are gonna have to press this now but i'm just gonna collect the animoculi first wait actually i believe i have to okay i can actually just collect the wind here is it I think there's a... Okay, wait, does this just trigger the thing? Nope. Okay. There's, there's two more somewhere, but I think we can just climb on this pillar and we can jump down to get our animoculi, so that should be good. I'm not exactly the best at like world exploring. I'm more of like a dungeon kind of guy, you know. Just go in, whack a few buttons, kill everything. Okay, I believe this is tall enough. Uh. We don't need the, we don't need the wind. Okay, more than enough. Okay, so this is actually the last animoculi that we need. Okay, we actually don't need this, it's a spare. So it's just gonna be chilling in our inventory. Same with the joculi. I couldn't find the last joculus. So even though my statue is max level, right, I don't have a, the, the spare joculi. It, it, it's the same for all those oculi. Oh. So like the animoculi, there will be one spare, the joculi also. So we, although we couldn't find one of them, uh, it's no biggie, we still managed to max out our statue. Okay, so we are going to open this uh, quest. Okay, so that should open the quest. So we are, we are supposed to uncover the secret to this island. Okay. Oh my, the I actually forgot how, how to do this quest. Uh, so maybe I'll get reminded like halfway through this episode, I hope. But, you know, it's, it's always more fun. I, I don't want to be like, you know, going through the wiki and then like reading the thing and then just like doing it. Uh. I'm gonna have some have some fun with the world exploring while I'm at it. Okay, then just open some chests. Hmm. Is it here? Oh wait, is this this looks sus? This looks sus. Is this it? Ah okay okay. We did it, we did it. Let's investigate this stuff. Oh wow, crystal chunk. Dang. You, in case you guys didn't know, right, we don't get crystal chunks normally. <laughs> I think it's a one-time thing. Like, you can't just discover crystal chunks, you have to like, mine them. Okay, observe the shadow at the sundown. Okay, let's, let's do that. This must be the sundown mansion, blah blah blah. Okay. So the sundown will tell us a certain time, I believe. Let's... Oh my god! <laughs> How did I miss this? It starts around 2 a.m. It's over by 5 a.m. at the latest. <laughs> there is this sundown here after all, and in the early hours of the day, the blade shadow falls directly downwards. It's quite striking. Okay, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. <laughs> That's the time. Oh my goodness, what? It's like written right over there. Okay, so 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Right. Let's, let's set it to like 207. Let's play safe. Let's go, let's go. Can't believe it was just written there, man. Wait, but why is it a sun now? I don't get it. If it's 2 a.m., where's the sun, man? Okay. Let's see if we get any uh, elemental evidence or anything. Oh, yes, we do. Okay, so it follows down. So we can we can see some sort of thing. Oh. Oh. Dang, we have to go onto the... Okay, I remember now, I remember now. We have to collect those stuff. Okay, there's, there's one guy here. What are we supposed to do with it? Okay, I think we're supposed to use an animal unit, is it? Am I like reading this wrong? Okay, Amber, you're out. So I mean, the sucrose. Okay. Is it like this? Ah, okay, okay, correct, correct. We are doing things correctly now. Okay. Disperse the cluster of okay. Let's go ahead and do that. So there's three more to go. I believe that was counted as one. Okay, there's one more here, is it? Oops. Is that one? Oh no, this is not this is not a wind. Okay. It tells us to go up here. Oh there's one more over there. Okay. Maybe let's uh, switch to Kaya so we can climb a bit faster. The elemental side is telling us that there's something up here. Yep, which there is. Okay, that's one. 
that's going to be the second one. We are going to use Kaya to bridge over there. And then we'll use the Sucrose. Okay, wait, let's build a little bit of stamina so we don't drown. Okay, let's go. Is it here? Okay, it's a little bit offshore, so we are going to have to do this. And then... Can we get it? Yes, we can. Okay. The last one should be on the other side, isn't it? The other side of the island, I think so. Yeah, okay, let's go, let's go. Let's swim there. Okay. It's here? Wait, it's here? Oh, it's there, it's there. Okay. Oh, my, the Hontoni is a good one. Koitsu, I this. Okay, we are done. Ancient Tail comes from the wrong the wind. Okay, <laughs> that's gonna be bad. Scatter the deposit of the wind. Okay, let's see if there's any clues. Oh, wait, did you miss something? Oh, dig. Okay, wait, it's just a chest. Oops. Okay. Disperse the. Okay, I believe if we go to the center over here. Ah, okay. So this is the way. Right. How do we scatter the deposit? Just by doing this? Oh my goodness. Okay, I forgot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna have to deal with this guy. Level 71 miles. And look at the Albedo go, man. Oh, it's been some time, man. It's been some time since I've seen seen a character like spike the color so much. We can actually just use supers to like encourage this guy down I believe. Even though we are not damage. Let's, let's see if we can ride this elevator. Nope, we can't. But that is low. Let's not risk it. Got the out to dodge him. Finally some combat man. Okay, okay wait. Let's, let's elevator if we can. Come on man, get me up. Oh. Okay. Use this to encourage him down. Smash him in mid hand while this is good. Pop a small albedo. Pop this guy. Okay, yeah. we got a burn it out here so we can heal up a little bit. Yeah. So close is like not super useless because you know she can still encourage this guy down. So that's fine. Okay, we have to be careful on the albedo, we have to be careful on the on, on the on the burnet. Obviously he's not he's not he's not built to sustain, he's built to heal and do like, some buffing and stuff. To encourage him down again. Okay. Do some melt. Right, the elevator. Can we get him now? Okay, we can sucrose him down. And then we can pop a new albedo. This guy. This. Okay. Oh! Oh, cutscene, cutscene. Oh, I thought we were gonna kill him. I honestly forgot. This this quest, I, I did it like one year ago. There's no way I remember. Like. Oh, this is the part. This is the part we have to. Uh, Pursue him to the Thousand Winds Temple, okay. Oh, and how kind of them to provide us with a path there, so we don't have to teleport there. Well, I hope we don't have to come back to this island. I can't remember if we need to come back to this island, like, eventually. Okay, eh, how come? Let me just get lifted a little bit more. Okay, done. Okay, that's a bit too high. Okay, let's chase down the Eye of the Storm. Uh, we might want to change Sucrose to, uh, to an archer. Maybe Fischl? I think Fischl, at least you know, she can do some damage. But let's see if they let us. Like maybe by the time we fly there, then it's like... It's there. Okay. Let me see if we can just land. Oh man, taking one glance over this island, I can see like a bunch of CDs and stuff. <laughs> All the world exploring that we, we haven't uh, we haven't been doing. Okay, let me just 
change. So I need um I'm going to need official for the Elder Storm. Okay. Are we gonna read this? Uh, okay. Search for Okay, elemental side is it? Hmm, interesting. It's not elemental side. Is it time of the day again? Let me just read the Where's the notebook? Um Is it this one? Okay, it's this one, this one. Elemental evidence the Wow, I think the clues for us just ended man. I got a feeling the clues for us just ended and we have to like figure the rest out. Unless this Sealy has to do something with it. Could this Sealy be part of the, the quest? Or is it just a normal Sealy? Oh man, I think it's just gonna go on there. I think it's just a normal Sealy. Okay. You know what? Let's just send him home. Let's just send him home. Oh my god, the free chest. We are like super behind in world exploring anyway. We're actually going to do that in episode 8, which is which is this stream uh, later on. A few hours time. Go do some world exploring. Okay. I believe that this has nothing to do with the quest. Which it doesn't. Okay. Search for the eye of the storm. Is there like some clue that I'm missing? Or is it just uh, 2am to 5am again? Let's try that. 2am. Okay, 2.13. 2.13am. Okay. Eh? Oh, okay. We are done. 2.13am Elemental side oh, okay, okay, okay So it's the same thing Wow, I think we have to sort to sucrose again Okay Seems like there's no escape from the sucrose so We are still gonna have to sucrose our way out of this one um, There's one more here There's like four of them So it's at least four notes. Okay, is this it? In time, it will grow and spark again. I guess we have to kill all of these things. Basically, the biggest hint in the world. Oh, wow, that is cool, man. We rode the elevator and then we took them out. Now that we got a little bit of shoe going on, I can't afford to go to the internet. Okay, collect all these free uh, slime stuff. Okay, um... Was there any hint? Okay, there's one last one inside here. Is this gonna spawn the eye? Okay. It's a bit more encouraging. Okay, tada, we got it, we got it. Okay. PC is low on battery. Let's fix that in a sec. Bennett is, Bennett is getting a bit dangerous. Kill him up a little bit. Let's see if we can like, do a bit of like elevator nonsense over here. I think we can elevator us up and then we can like kaya oh, almost uh, almost uh, almost uh, but obviously like the main way of us uh, getting him to come down right is probably to just super so close wow oh, this is fine uh, let's take them out there's a lot of slimes on the wall that is fine. Let's encourage the arm to stop this. Encourage him to come down. Suman, Suman. May you wait. Oh, the LV door is. It's an account booster for sure. It's just that, you know, he doesn't boast like large snapshots. He's a. He's not like a super like, end game character. So, like, you know, throwing in tons of resources into him is not going to do anything. Like, throwing in like just enough resources into him is going to give us a lot of. Results. Like it's a bit underrated for the <laughs> oh, Wait, did he just get an upgrade? It wasn't level 74. It was lower level. But anyway, we are prepared. We got some food going on, so let's just heal our Kaya up. Dodge there. Whack him a few times. 
<laughs> I still want to do this. Oh yes, we got it, we got it. We got the melt somewhere. The Elvido, Elvido platform is finally putting in some work. Sucrose him down. Sucrose is a shot. Okay. Got an idea. Ultimate idea. Kore. Yes, oh my god, I can't believe we reached him with that. Okay, wait. But he needs, I think, a little bit more encouraging to come down, so let's just take out this nasty guy first. Take out this nasty guy, I guess. He is out of his this is the first dodge okay. Do we need another Suko? Yeah, I should probably make use of this. Still not used to this uh, elevator. I think it's the wind. Uh. The wind just blows me away. Oh my god. I just want to do my setup. Yes, elevator us up. Can even use burn there. Maybe a cut. Okay, not. Maybe we can just uh, encourage him now. <laughs> Hopefully finish him before he goes back up. Elevator, come on, come on. We don't need the elevator anymore. Nope. And that's it. Wow, there's a lot of character ESP that we got. Did we get anything else? Much of Mora, okay. Hopefully we can get the catch man. Uh the catch uh, R5 today. Man. After all this fishing, I, I actually been slacking off my I skipped a few days of fishing. So the fishers they respawn every three days, but I, I think I skipped a bunch of a bunch of them. Okay. Four fishers is the cut off, so we know there's not gonna be any more response. Go ahead and shift the time into the day and see if any more spawns. And then after this uh, after this fishing spot we're not in Monstead, so there's a couple more like somewhere else. There's a couple more in uh, I think two in Lia and one in Inner Zuma if I'm not wrong. One, two, yeah, there's Okay, there's two in Liyue and two in Inazuma, but one of uh, one of the ones in Liyue right, doesn't have the green color on the bitter puffer fish, so it's gonna be in Inazuma. So we are gonna have to explore three fishing spots in Liyue, and then three in Inazuma, and then I think we're done. Okay, done. Okay, let's fish this guy up. Okay, almost there, almost there. <coughs> if you if you play this in uh, English VA Paimon, right, it's actually pretty annoying. Like the Paimon goes crazy. You know? Okay, so once again, right, four. F okay, wait, no, this guy is just really slow. I was about to say like four fishers then we can. We know that like, there's not going to be any more puffer fish, but I. Like, I forgot that they are super slow, so they take a while. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. <coughs> Okay, done. That's, that's a wrap, I think. That's a wrap, yep. Okay, we are done in this place. So obviously they spawn every three days, but we don't need... Oh my, uh, we don't need to do it every three days. We can do it like, oh my, every week. But that's what I'm doing now. I'm doing them like weekly instead of like, every three days, because I'm a little bit lazy. Okay, Um. so I remember wrongly, we only need three, so that's okay, but... Oh, it's really a bummer that we didn't get enough bitter puffer fish, man. We are so, so close. I don't think we, I think we only got like three or four bitter puffer fish today. 
and we have been getting a ton of this like normal puffer fish. I was hoping we can find him like, like two levels, but that's fine. Okay, so we got like a whole bunch more like crit damage, crit rate, and all that. Okay, so when we ascend the character to four stars, right, obviously we are not the new talent, which is really gonna help us. That's why, like, that's why I wanted to do it for Fischl, especially. Because Fischl, um, in the Spiral Abyss, the second half, right, Fischl is like the driver of the team. So we need to. Um, Okay, so Burnett's okay, Burnett's talent level 4, right? Basically just um not not talent level 4, uh Ascension 4, right? Unlocks this talent where his uh, cooldown is reduced. Uh his cooldown his passion overload is reduced in the fantastic fantastic voyage. So we get we get a whole bunch more energy from him basically. That's that's what it means. Okay la. You know what, honestly. Nah. <laughs> unless unless the domain like seriously needs a seriously needs an animal like yes an animal pillar right I don't I don't think we actually need an animal in it. Lose a bit of melting. So we don't get frozen again. Okay. <laughs> Okay, if this is the easier domain, right? I don't want to see the harder domain. This domain, we can already feel like the damage is already falling off from this domain. So it means that probably the other domain is enough harder. Of their overreacting. It could be, it could be just around the same as that. You know, just like boss mode. They're obviously better against those stuff. Boss mobs rather than this pack of mobs because we don't have any more yet to crowd control them to like group them together so we have to like take them out one by one. But it doesn't doesn't make a difference for boss mobs because obviously boss mobs every time there's only one of them. Sky, Treasure Hall, done. Okay, so that was one of the domains. Okay. Not super hard, but not super easy either. <laughs> we did struggle a little bit. Okay, let's leave the domain. Alright, alright. Oh wait, we actually did the harder one first. Okay, so... So um, now we can just chill. <laughs> so apparently that was the harder one. Okay, I thought, I thought we did the easier one first. Okay, so that was the harder one. So this one, okay lah. That one, honestly not that hard. This one, okay, I can already see a bunch of boss mobs. Cool. But they're level 60, which means that we have the upper hand here. Let's see. So you can raise Goba up. Okay, I wanna make this work, man. Come on, Goba. Yes. Yeah. Go and do it. <laughs> just for the loss. Just raise Goba. Just, just get all high and mighty up here. Yeah, so Pop our know. burst. Watch that. But these guys are still in the net. Father the particles. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. I was just... Farming the particles, raid, raiding myself for another cycle. You can see all my buffs, and just like that, we are done in this domain. Okay, that was a walk in the park. All right, all right. This level sixty boss mobs don't mean anything to our level seventy team. Okay, so this is the one. All right, mark it off the map. Oh uh, yes, yes, he has the he has the R5 weapon actually. So, so, so I, I didn't I didn't laze around. Uh, I, I went to do the I went to do the the Elbido story quest and everything. So it's R5, Spindle. I mean that's part of the reason why I put for Elbido in the first place. Because I wanted to get his uh get his weapon. With with his weapon he's I mean he's just uh, so he's beginner friendly, he's free to play friendly, he's Everything about this account so far. This this account is meant to be like a free to play account, right? It's honestly gonna be very difficult uh, because it's hard to keep up with the with the meta being free to play. So I'm doing my best, you know, 
using this kind of uh, tools. It was it was a tough decision between Elvido and Yula. So Elvido being like the free to play guy, and Yula being the super heavy investment guy. I really wanted Yula because of the of the way. I think she's quite cool, <laughs> but. Elvido is, is probably the more sound decision for our account. Okay, wait. Where is this round of that? Yeah, let me just let me just hide my pins. Okay, hide some of these pins. I'm using the Teva interactive maps here, so I have to remember to hide the pins. Oh my pins. Oh, okay, it's right there's no point in uh, there's no point in doing the using the map if you're not gonna do that. Yeah, Yula. Which one? Which one do you go for? Do, do you do you go for any of them? So basically, I okay. It, it took me like a few days to to consider between them. Sadly, you already have Yula. Okay, I see. I see. Your Yula is probably very high investor uh, to see those uh, big damage numbers that you talk about. Okay, so mark this off the map. Do we have any more keys? Wait, let me just check. We have one last key, okay. One last key so we can just uh we can choose one of them to open. I think we'll open this one over here. Okay. Even if we get a five star, right, which is pretty unlikely, yeah, I don't wanna get another LB though. I wanna get like someone new. So I'm going for the Eula banner. Right here, right now. Okay, the reason why I'm I'm not saving my primos and I'm drawing here is because I want like Bernet, I want Rosaria, maybe not Noel, but like I want these two. So I'm I'm making a very sound decision to pull over here. That's just me convincing myself. Okay, but here we go. Ten pull. Let's go. Let's hope for the best, man. This account hasn't been lucky, and it really hasn't been lucky. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. What are the stuff we get? What the three stars obviously. Oh my goodness, we get a freaking lion's bro. Okay. Yikes man, yikes. Okay, no Burnett there. Okay lah, but our Burnett is C1 already, so it's not like super super groundbreaking. C1 is uh is his most important constellation, so we got that, so it's fine. This is fine. Okay. Alright, so we will wrap it up for episode 7 of our Let's Play Genshin Impact series. Back to square one over here. Just a recap. So we have cleared all the Shrine of Death that we can. We cleared a total of 8 of them in this episode. And we done the Year Domains, 2 of them. We actually did the level 71 before we did the level 61. So I was thinking like, wow, the easier one is already so hard. But actually we did the harder one first. So the... The level 60 domain was like a walk in the park for us. Okay, so yeah, then we leveled Fischl and Burnett to Ascension 4. So we got we got our second Ascension talent, which is uh, really good for both of them. Then we did a 10 summon. Unfortunately, we did a 10 summons, we didn't really get anything good. So that's quite, quite sad. And then, um, okay, so for the next episode, I'll just give you guys a heads up for some. This episode we'll be doing Spiral Abyss first. We'll be getting the leftover stars in the in the lower half of the abyss, or rather the upper half of the abyss. So those are easier ones, floor seven and eight. I think we have three stars missing from there. And then we have uh, some Inazuma quests. I want to show you guys the Inazuma quest. And then we'll do some. We'll probably do some ten summons to celebrate, like after our Spiral Abyss is done. And then we'll do our weekly bosses. So we are not quite a lot of weekly bosses. So um, we'll we'll get to that soon. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe.